If you're interested in astronomy and looking to the sky, this next project might be for you. The International Astronomical Search Collaboration, also known as ISAAC, is a program that allows citizen scientists all around the world to analyze NASA's high quality data of near-Earth objects, things like asteroids and comets. With this data, volunteers are able to make discoveries of new asteroids in our solar system and near Earth. I'm joined by Isaac founder, Dr. Patrick Miller, and citizen scientist, Ludwig Adolfo Fernandez. Thank you both for joining us. Yeah, thank you. So Patrick, this sounds like an exciting project. Could you tell us more uh, about it? Yes, uh, we, uh, we started this project in, uh, in, in 2006. I think we had like five teams participating. Now we've got over 3,000 teams from 80 countries around the world that participate. Uh, we provide uh, images from large telescopes uh, at the University of Hawaii, uh, the Pan-STARRS uh, Sky Survey, and also the University of Arizona, the Catalina Sky Survey. Uh, we take these images, we uh, process them, and then send them out to teams of citizen scientists around the world. And their job is to look through these, uh, these images and find uh, discoveries of, uh, of asteroids and occasionally near-Earth objects. Wow, this is really important work. Um, so Ludwig, you've been involved with this project. Um, can you tell us uh, how, how you participate and what sort of skills someone would need to get involved? Well, uh, well, I managed the campaign for Bolivia. It's named All Bolivian Acid Research Campaign. This campaign is pretty new. We are working with Isaac since 2018. Uh, to this day, more than 1,000 students participated in the campaign. There isn't like a list of skills to participate, but the student needs to meet some requirements, such as having a computer and having internet connection. Sometimes the school is in charge of that. Uh, well, but the most important is to have uh, the desire to learn and to make, to contribute to observation of asteroids. Wow. Okay. So what kind of um, observations and discoveries have you been able to make here? Well, at Living Campaign, we have made more than 400 uh, provis preliminary asteroids and seven provisional asteroids. So as uh, Living Campaign, we also participated in special campaigns that are competitive among the best 10 teams of the world. Amazing. So, uh, Dr. Miller, how do the, does the work of citizen scientists help with your research? The, the, the citizen scientists are, are finding uh, objects that are actually not reported by the large sky surveys. Uh, their, uh, citizen scientists are able to look at these images and see deeper into the images than the automated uh, detection utilities conducted either by PanSTARRS or Catalina. So those are important observations because they're finding things that are that are missed in the original in the original data. Wow, that is quite incredible! What an important project, and it's very cool that citizen scientists can help with this. Um, so, what advice do both of you have for other people that want to get involved here? Well, from Isaac's point of view, if you'd like to participate, uh, you're welcome to come to our website. And uh, we have a registration form, and uh, the staff and I will be happy to work with you. Uh, it takes a day or two once you uh, send in your interests, uh, and then we'll get you set up and participating before you know it. And it's free. Yeah. Uh, for me, is that don't be afraid to apply. It's a great opportunity to make important discoveries in asteroids. So there is a great experience. It's free, and it's open for everyone. Amazing. Great advice. Thank you both so much for the work that you're doing and for being with us here today.